This video assumes you already have a physical remote desktop server set up and configured in your environment. Thin Manager can be installed on, run sessions from, and supports Windows Server 2016 and 2019, as well as 64-bit Windows 10 and 11. While Thin Manager can't be installed on older Windows servers, such as Server 2008 and 2012, they can still work for sources of content as remote desktop servers. First, add the remote desktop services role, then create user accounts for each terminal that will connect to the server, and then finally add Windows security policies as needed and dictated in your environment. Once you have your remote desktop server set up and ready, you'll go into the Thin Manager interface and select the Display Servers tab from the left side of the application window. Once you've selected this, you'll see that you're presented with display servers available in your environment. In this case, I already have a remote desktop server set up in my environment, as well as an IP camera, a VNC server, and the option to add container hosts. To add a remote desktop server to my Thin Manager configuration, I simply right click and select Add Remote Desktop Server. Then I'm presented with the Remote Desktop Server Configuration Wizard. The initial screen is a note about DNS settings that may or may not apply to your configuration. I click the next button, and this is where I can begin entering the information for the server that I'm adding to my Thin Manager environment. If you know the name of your remote desktop server, you can type that in. In my case, my server is called RDS2, and I can use the Discover button. And if my naming convention is correct, Thin Manager will automatically find the IP address associated with RDS2. I'm going to also add an administrator username and password. This is used so that Thin Manager can communicate with the remote desktop server to receive and deliver information to help manage load balancing and other features within the Thin Manager toolset. I'm just going to click the Verify button and my information is valid. I'll hit Next, then I will select the type of protocol. In this case, it will be using Remote Desktop Services protocol, and you may or may not use Smart Session. This is the ability for load balancing to be managed in the Thin Manager environment so that sessions will be launched on the remote desktop server that has the most available resources. If you're not using load balancing, you don't have to check this box. In my configuration, I'm just going to check it so it's there for me in case I decide to use it. I hit the next button, and then there's a few other settings here to determine how fast data will be gathered from the remote desktop server as well as settings that determine the utilization targets that you're going to be looking for to establish how load balancing will work in your environment. Once complete, just simply hit the Finish button, and you'll notice your server is immediately added to the Remote Desktop Server tab on the left of the application window. At this point, within a few seconds, the server will connect and the icon will turn from red to green. Once it's made its connection, I will select the server now and you'll notice it is connected and I'm presented with the information tab system prevalent throughout the Thin Manager environment. In this case, I'm receiving information about remote desktop server RDS2. I can see the configuration of the server, properties of the server, hardware schedule, if it's been set for the server, any users who are logged into the server at this time, and any sessions that are running on the server, as well as the processors the server is running. The graph tab shows the CPU and memory usage to determine how load balancing is, work, is, is going to work if I'm going to take advantage of Smart Session. My event log lets me know what's going on with the server. I have the ability to connect to the server and shadow it directly within the Thin Manager interface, and of course I can report on the server as needed. You can add as many remote desktop servers as you like in the Thin Manager configuration. All of your servers can work in conjunction with one another to support other features in a Thin Manager configuration, features like load balancing, failover, and instant failover. This completes this video on adding a remote desktop server to your Thin Manager configuration.